Here we go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our weekly webinar. Today's webinar is we're going to be discussing the color view operation. So it's very basic, very easy. Um, we are going to go a little bit into small little bit of detail. And then um, I'm going to obviously after that ask a few questions. So it's not a very long module. It's very short, very easy, straightforward. Um, but so some people are a little bit confused with the color view X and the normal color view, what the differences is. So we're just going to go through that basic introduction again and just some of the options for those color view options for our devices that we have at the moment. So let me share quickly my screen with you guys. Um, there we go. All right. Come on, open up PPT. There we go. All right, so our color view X, it's not just some new um, system that we have that we've introduced or upgrade version of the color view is just to put all our color view products under one little bubble. So we call it our color view X. Some people would say color view plus X. Um, I did ask HQ, like I mentioned last week, they did say it's just color view X. So it's just the, the whole experience range of color view. So for those of you uh, that don't know what color view is, you all might familiar be with all the cameras where the cameras have that red infrared around it. Um, and then at nighttime, when you look at the camera, you can actually see the red light looking back at you. So obviously that's also for the intruder to see that, listen, there's the camera. If he can see the red light, the camera can see him. So if he avoids the red light, it won't see him. So he can get past it or crawl past it so the camera angle won't be able to see him. But with color view, basically there's zero infrared at all. It is 24 hours colors. Um, it's a colorful image. Uh, it always stays on and it needs one lux, basically, if I can put it that way, to be able to have that colorful image. And uh, just to explain what lux is, is basically just the difference of having a very dark night outside and one star, just one star, not a moonlight, just one star brightness is one lux. So our cameras can see under one lux. That's why you'll have that 0 0.003 or 0 0.001 or 0 point is actually two. Yeah, the first one is 0 0.001. Then you get 0 0.00003 and then five. And so you carry on. So um, that's our technology for that. That's uh, basically about the opening of the lens itself and the technology that's built onto it, the hardware and the software. So let's go into that. A little bit so as you guys are familiar with our cameras as well so obviously most of you have seen our new ranges that comes out it's color view cameras with built-in accuracy it's got that f count in it for that um large um image itself so that f count has been dropped from f uh, 2.0 to f 1.0 for like i mentioned last week for those of you that use digital cameras and do photography would understand where that F count comes in. It's a big role, it makes a big difference. So you have a beautiful image in front of you and the back image is a little bit blurred. That's where these type of things comes in. It's about that light going into the lens. So the guys that are professionals in this with lenses and cameras, they would know a lot more than me. But anyway, I know cameras, CCTV cameras. All right, so um, yeah, thank you for that message. Uh, thank you guys. Um, everybody can definitely hear me very loud and clear. Uh, everything is working correctly. Guys, are you, are you, is everybody alive there? Quite a lot of people. There we go. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. All right. So just moving along, um, as we discuss, obviously, there's a new technology that's built into these. So it's not that Color View X is a new te technology. It's just Color View. So having a camera that gives you that wide dynamic range itself, that you have a beautiful image, this is our special technology. And I can tell you now that if you compare it to anything else on the market there, when it comes to your CCTV camera, the quality of image compared to their products and our product of, as a color view camera and our technology, you can definitely see the difference. And I recommend any person to take up that challenge to take up a different brand or different company or different model, whatever, how cheap it is, wherever you're buying it, 
take it, take the color view camera and see the difference for yourself, how good the quality is. And if you are looking at these type of cameras and you are taking the four megapixel, the eight megapixel, please don't go and use a TV. Um, there is a big resolution difference. That's why we use monitors. And if you are using an eight megapixel 4K resolution color view camera, please don't go use a normal monitor or anything else. You need a 4K resolution monitor to see the 4K resolution differences. So it's a normal TV use as well. So if you have DSTV, you can't be watching HD Ultra if you have still one of those old HDMI cables and your TV is HD ready. You're not going to get the clear image on SuperSport. Um, that's the best way that I can explain it, I think, the most common sense way. So obviously you need to have the, the best quality of that. Right, moving along, let's just go to the next one. So as we introduced last week, come PPT, work with me. There we go. We have our um, color view with our um, panoramic view. We have it in our 4K, that's our eight megapixel range itself, decent quality, built in with our AccuSense as well. We have it in our lifeguard, so for security purposes and our, our uh, very focals for those that you need to zoom in and zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's start off with the first one, panoramic. So we did introduce this yesterday. Obviously you get a very wide angle, 180 degree angle. It's two cameras built into the system in one. So very nice design, very easy to use. So very comfortable. So you have it in a bullet and a dome. So I know it doesn't look like a dome, but it is a dome. Um, feature. So basically you have that wide angle. It will make sure that you basically have that split image in between. So you don't have to go through all that major work itself to set it up. It has that analytics built in for AccuSense, beautiful image, as you can see, all the normal additional things and that focus on human and vehicle intrusion or that deep learning algorithm that's on it. So um, one IP address on these devices, but two cameras, so very nice. And yes, you pay one license fee, but obviously depends on how many channels you have on your system, but it basically will take up two channels if you need be or one channel view itself. So you can separate it if you would like to. I would recommend it. I'd rather just use one channel, one IP, and then basically open a beautiful view to see it on it. We do have that in our showroom as well on our control room wall. So for any of you that have been through there, you might have seen it. If you haven't, come and visit, have a look. You'll see how pretty that looks like. All right. So this is the normal image itself. So as we discussed last week, the field of view itself, you'll normally, if you want that 180 degree, you will have three cameras. So you have all three cameras in a different angle. So you can see that entire area. So now you don't have to do that. Now we have a single image itself that will give you, or single device that will give you that 180 degree angle. So much better field of view, more brightness. Yeah, just works. So this is how it would normally be. So you'll have the image on the right, image on the left, like we mentioned for that filter image. And if we go and connect it up with our system now, it will basically connect both those images together. So it will splice it, or some of you I'd say, um, you know, it zips it together or whatever the case is but it will basically put both images in line, in focus, and you won't see that line at all. In our showroom, however, we are showing that line. It's very briefly. So when you are looking at the image, you won't notice it. But when I start pointing it out to you, you will pick it up. Or if you're uh, an expert in that department, you don't need to watch the videos anymore. So there we go. All right. This is just to show how that model looks like. Very nice design, built-in flashlights built-in microphone, um, so you have that built-in speaker to make that noise as well, but we'll go through all that. So as you can see, it will join the two areas beautifully together. And I just noticed now in the picture, there's some Aston Martin there. It's a R8 uh, Mercedes G-Class, I think. Yeah, so there's some fancy vehicles in there. I think that's a Land Rover. Yeah, all right, but anyway, enough about the cars. Right, so moving along, obviously in the 4K, it comes through on multiple of the devices itself. So the 4K, oh, sorry, the, the 4K, the eight megapixel is very more advanced. So you have a better quality of image. A lot of people go say, yeah, but you know, the price and assist, 
It depends on your situation. If you have a, a little bit more of a risky environment and you need more proper detail information, this is where this will come in handy. It's, it pays for itself when it comes to that information that it's giving you. So just to have a, sh a little bit of a showcase there, the normal 4K at night or not at night, but late in the afternoons, you can see the differences between the two. So just to show, this is the best way that we can explain and to showcase that same time, same time period. And then obviously you can see the differences with the 4K color view image. So obviously the one on the, uh, your left hand side, um, it's obviously gonna be a less, uh, a colorful image because it's not a color view uh, model. It's just a normal IR or dark fighter. So you're gonna have that image. All right. Again, I just would like to showcase this beautiful picture again. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit stucky on the guys for the live view, but just that quality of that image on the 4K color view, that is pretty. Uh, I know the guys, yeah, you guys are watching on a projector, but if you have an actual 4K monitor and you put that image on, I can promise you now you'll get smacked. It's got nothing against Supersport. I can promise you that. Really, it really is really good. Uh, I really wish that they can do a bit more about it, but um, yeah, I, I would really like to showcase it. So maybe for the next game, maybe we can do something where we can have a few of them up on a wall, those four Ks, and you know, have maybe one of our cameras looking at the game. I think that would be amazing. All right, okay, enough about sports now. Let's go to the next one. All right, so the next one is gonna be our AccuSense. So obviously in our new range of models, a lot of you are used to the AccuSense range. So obviously you'll see now that it's color view AccuSense. So it's not AccuSense color view, it's actually uh, uh, color view AccuSense. So it basically allows us now to use that colorful image and has the built in AccuSense as well. So AccuSense is very important, especially from a security point of view. You can connect this up to your AX Pro and have it connected just as a camera and as a sensor. So doing both jobs at the same time. So instead of having an outdoor detector, even though Hick Vision do have, but a camera is just so much more better. So when the puppies are running up and down, it will concentrate just on the, the human detection and not the puppies, where outdoor detector will concentrate obviously on anything. And if you set the sensitivity, it won't pick up the puppies anymore. And when I'm talking about puppies, I mean like big Alsatians or Labradors or Huskies, big puppies. Um, so then you can set the sensitivity on the outdoor detector so it won't pick up the puppies anymore, but also it won't pick up the guy crawling on the floor. But if you have an AccuSense camera and it's color view, you have less false alarms. If you set it up, you have almost zero false alarms because the ones that you will get will obviously be a human being. So then you can obviously see the image. It will also go through to your control room center. So whoever's on the arc side that monitors your cameras or the monitoring on response company that you go with, they will be able to see exactly if it's really necessary to send somebody out or is it actually somebody that is going in. You do have the lifeguard that will go through just now, but on the AccuSense side, you don't always have to make those noises of the flashing light and the siren. You can have it that it just basically looks at it there before the guy knows and he's trying to break open the door, the arm response is already there arresting him. So being proactive. So multiple different ranges, as you can see from the two to four, all the way to the eight megapixel. Then we have it in our lifeguard as well. That's the ones with a built-in flashlight. That's gonna be, where's my mouse? That's gonna be this baby's here. So built-in flashlight, built-in siren. Um, everything there, you can also change the voice, we'll go through that, so very nice, and obviously our panoramic view as well. Right, so under that AccuSense, as we mentioned earlier, we can see the difference between human and vehicle and others, so it gives us that capability of using a brighter, uh, a better image of quality to reduce those false alarms. All right, so just to go through that, right, so as a lot of you are familiar, you should be familiar with AccuSense. If not, please go to a few months back videos and look at our CCTV, look at our cameras and look at AccuSense so you have a better understanding. Right, so this is just a login page for the AccuSense on the camera itself through the browser. This allows us then to go to the smart events. 
itself under smart events there you're going to select your camera itself you're going to select how many lines you would like and then you're going to draw up where you want to very popular is obviously the one line accusense um the four line but now very much better affordable will be the three line model so for those of you that are not familiar with accusense there are different models for lines you can speak to your supplier and ask them for the three line one i promise you now Look at the price, you'll see there's a big difference, especially on the AccuSense, not color view, but AccuSense, uh, if you are looking at the three lines. So just mentioning that, but obviously this is our color view AccuSense. So you get that capability. It gives you four lines that you can draw or four intrusions. So those options, sorry, I'm trying to look at this screen and look at here. So let me see there. All right, so intrusion detection, there we go, will be over there. So that will allow us to draw little blocks of certain environment areas that you would like to set. So you can set each one individually. And once you set up whatever you would like to, make sure that you have your time. If it is linked to an AX Pro, sorry, AX Pro alarm system, make sure that you have your hour 24 seven from Monday to Sunday nonstop. So basically the AccuSense is always active. But if that is the case, you don't want it obviously to make any noises, any sirens, so you're not going to enable that, but we'll go through that just now for the notification. So once you've enabled that 24 seven, if you arm your alarm system, this allows then for the AccuSense to use that analytics and pull it into it. So that when there's a human being that crosses the area, it will trigger. So you have your normal notifications at the bottom, so you can set what you would like to, your sensitivity as well. So it gives us that capability. Right, moving along, let me go to the next one. So as you can see, this will be on the NVR side showing you that playback. So if there was an event, whatever the case might be, this gives us that capability. So as you can see, normal system will give you that black and white. You can't see what that lady is wearing. So to us, it looks like white or a light color. Now everybody's searching everywhere for somebody that's wearing a light shirt or a light or white. Uh, jacket, but actually, in actual fact, it's red. So that's the big differences. So this will make for any arm response company a big difference. All right. Let's have a look at this one. All right. So there's no sound on that one again. So um, we have the Land Rover Freelander there. Yes, that is. Was it a discovery? Looks more like a freelander, but anyway. <laughs> so basically what happens is just to go back to that again, you'll have the, the built-in AI AccuSense itself. So once it gets into that environment, whether it's human or vehicle, it will detect the vehicle, it will alert it through the camera, and you can say, please, this is a restricted area. Here we go. All right. So a little nice little demonstration. Okay, so moving along from there, we're obviously gonna concentrate on the lifeguard like we watched just now. It makes that flashing light and obviously alerts you. So there are different models that have that capability of built in. So you have that flashlight built into it, plus the speaker and the microphone. So from a control room point of view, it's very nice because it allows us from a control room to talk over it as well. So keep that in mind, as long as you have the right equipment like the NVR or I, I, um, NVR itself, the IDS NVR. So it gives us that capability. So very nice, very easy to use, very loud. Um, the light, yes, sorry, yeah. What is the distance of the button? The distance is normally average, I would say about uh, 30 meters distance that you can hear it. Um, I think the, the dBs on it itself for the, the sound of uh, itself, um, it will be above 95 dBs. So some models I do know is a little bit lower, like 93, but you have that above 90, but 95 to play with for that loudness. Um, obviously, there are certain rules and regulations that even in the normal security industry that you have to follow, I think a 15 watt siren is set at 109 dBs. You're not allowed to go louder because that's more for um, residential areas. And then you have the 30 watt siren that is allowed to exceed to 129 dBs. So it's got 20 more dBs itself. It's louder, 
but that's more for industrial use or whatever the case, but you can't use that in normal residential. But because these cameras have it outside and it's right there in front of the people, there's obviously a limitation that we have for the rules and regulations for South Africa. All right, but it gives you that capability, obviously two-way communication through the Heat Connect app. So <laughs> I know for a fact my kids are gonna watch this. Um, so for a fact, you can have it also connected to your phone. So like me, I've got one, uh, we've got one in our lounge area. So if the kids don't answer their WhatsApp, I normally go onto it and I can yell at them. So it gives us that capability to be able to talk to them and say, hey, answer your phone. So for any parent, that's a plus. That's a, a real good plus. So it gives us that capability. All right, so just moving along. So. As I mentioned earlier, we have that different settings itself for that AccuSense. So again, on the camera, that smart linkage. So um, it's the same as the lifeguard itself. So under the lifeguard, it's very similar to the AccuSense for the setup to also draw your lines. Everything stays the same. The only difference is once we are done with that, we'll have the next option. This is the next option. You'll see that's the tab over there, the linkage mode. The linkage modes allows us then to select what we would like to select. So either we want to receive emails, notifications, and notifications is for your Heat Connect app. You want to switch on the, the, the noise, the flashing light, whatever you would like. You can also trigger, a lot of them will have a different option here for relays for outputs as well. So you have that capability of maybe triggering maybe a, a boom gate or whatever the case is for that AccuSense or the lifeguard functionality. So there's so much more that you can do with that. A lot of people don't know. So if it is maybe in a shipping container and you have this colorful camera with the built-in lifeguard, you don't always have to use the flashing light or the siren. You can just use the relay trigger. So the nice thing is it can go to a pepper spray system even. So now that's dodgy because I feel sometimes a bit uncomfortable. I know some of the guys that I work with that have these pepper spray systems in the shipping containers for maybe cell phone towers or repeater towers. And when you are there, you're a little bit like, you, you disarm, but you like, you, you go open the door, but you're like, you, you're dodgy. So the end of the day is this is nice because you have the camera. So once you disarm, also the same thing, if it is really a human being, it will trigger. Sometimes with an alarm system or PIR, you get false notifications and false alarms. So it's like, where do you draw the line? With the AccuSense, it is looking for a human being done. It will ignore everything else from the heat to the wind, to the pets, to spiders, to whatever the case, it will only focus. So I think for pepper spray, using that connection also very nice. All right. And then obviously you can set a lot of the light itself. So you can set the, the light over here for the flashing duration, um, the how bright you need to be. So somebody did ask me how bright that white light is on it. It's 900 luminance. So for the guys that work with lights itself, 900 is like a normal garage spotlight. It's, it's pretty perfect. So for my environment, I don't use the lifeguard for security. I just use it so I don't have to go and switch on and switch off the light. So mine is set at 15 um, seconds itself. So when I get to the garage, I just basically take my key, the light comes on from the camera, I can see which key I'm using and unlock the garage door. Perfect, that's all I need. I don't need it to be permanently on. So I'm saving electricity because it's DC and it's using the built-in PoE and it's already going through my UPS. So when there's load sharing, thanks Uncle Cyril, then uh, it still works. And you know, I still have some light if I'm in that environment. Perfect idea as well. Okay, so you don't have to use it just for lifeguard as well. You can use it as whatever your capability is. So think outside the box. Then on the audio side, also same situation. You can change those settings. You can also change the volumes on certain of the models, not all of them, but certain of the models. And definitely you can change the sound warning. So you can either have the normal siren noise or you can give those little voice messages to say, please vacate, whatever the case is. There is an option as well that you can add your own audio file in. I've had a client tell me that please, he wants to add his in and his one just says um, in all different languages, if I can put it that way, <laughs> if that's the best way. Um, 
So, uh, yeah, there's some other clients that put their own ones in that's a little bit harsh on the words. Um, I don't want my kids to hear that. But, yeah, it gives you that freedom to be able to use it how you would like to. All right. I won't recommend it. Use the default ones. Okay. And I'm pointing at the screen there because our display is here for our visitors to see as well. Okay. So moving along, the nice thing again about that lifeguard, you have a camera, you have a built-in PIR, built-in strobe light, built-in siren, built-in microphone, everything in one system. For those of you that are old like me, back in the days, you'll have so many different things. You'll have your normal camera, the ones that use the films that you had to turn. Um, you had your Walkman, you had all these different things on you. And now today we have one thing, it's our mobile phone that has everything built into it. This comes down to the same principle. Back in the days, our security was all these different products. Now it's one product. You don't have to go and buy multiple different products. You buy one, you have it all. It just makes more sense. But still, there are so many security companies, and I'm looking at all of you there, that are still using the old-fashioned ways. Please stop it. It's enough. We're moving forward now. Thank you. Okay. Um, I can already see Lisa's going to ask me something. I am sending you an email, Lisa. We are working on that. We had some technical issues, by the way, but we'll, we'll explain in the email. Anyway, so moving along, you have all that capabilities. So obviously we can think about where we can use this functionality. There's multiple different places. So my office had asked me to hammer on this a little bit more. So if it is a household, so I'm not going to hammer on it, but if it is a household, I see there's a message. I'm not going to look at it now. I'm going to laugh. Um, so you can use it, obviously, at a, like outside your house. A lot of people still have open yard properties. Yes, they do exist. People that don't have walls at their house in certain areas in South Africa, small towns, it still does exist, especially guys that are uh, in charge of that town. So nobody will go and mess around by their house. They have open yards. So when somebody gets close to the garage area or whatever the case is, obviously you can put it up while you're at work. It will make that noise. So you can set your own time period. So if it is a business area and there's maybe somebody trying to park in front of the door, this is very important. It will also warn them. So you can put it so you can also have it as a duration. So you can set it up multiple different ways. But the idea is if they go and park at maybe um, a parking that's designed more for people that are on wheelchairs, and this is a common problem at malls and shopping centers, people don't respect people that have disabilities or disabled, whatever the case is, and they will park in that area and they're not allowed to. Then the mall security will go and clamp them down. Very simple, put the camera up there and then basically draw the line if they're in that area, let it scream until they leave the area and then it will stop screaming. Very simple. I think it will irritate everybody so much. And the guy that parks there is going to look at this and he's going to get out of there. And wee, 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 wee. And it's not going to stop. So it's going to draw attention to him, to everybody. So, yes. And then, yes, you can obviously set it in different ways. So if there is really somebody that needs to park there, then it will allow them. So there's different ways that the operator of the control room can use that. So obviously you can use your own imagination, but it's very nice little setup. Then in a restaurant area, um, in retail, yeah, there's multiple different places. Maybe if it's like a, I would say, a museum where certain people are not allowed to go into. So once they try to get too close over that line, or they try and climb over that line to go and look at the, the, the stuff close by, it will warn them. So you don't have to pay someone a salary to keep on doing that work, to monitor the people. The cameras can do it for you. And then obviously, if they don't listen, then you send the security guard to them. All right, moving along. So I'm sure you guys have a brief understanding about that. Okay, All right. So next up is on our very focal. We did discuss this last week. We've got a little kitty over there, but a very focal for those of you that aren't too sure, then rather go back to the previous video. So very focal gives us that capability of basically zooming in and zooming out. You'll have it maybe from a 2.8 millimeter to a 
12 mega, uh, 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 megapixel, uh, 12 millimeter lens. So you have that capability of going in and out of the image. So very straightforward. So that also has our color view. So no matter how you are zooming in or zooming out, you're still gonna have the capability of having that clear, colorful image. So just to show that this is our normal, uh, the 4K resolution of color view image with very, very focal. Once we zoom in, as you can see, very nice picture. And I did ask somebody from HQ where this has been taken uh, a while back. So they said that on the building itself, as you can see, it's actually advertising that's on that building. So it's like clear view advertising. So it's not, a, there's actually a video clip where it keeps on going on and off where it shows, I love you. I don't know if somebody put a message there for his girlfriend or maybe he's done, did something wrong with his wife. I don't know. So the message goes around the building. So for those of you that didn't know that. But again, you have that colorful image right through. And as you can see, Nice thing to notice also from this image, as you can see, there's multiple different roads. Look at their traffic, guys. Um, they got traffic, but look how neat and tidy their traffic is. Even though they're busy with the roadworks, you can see all the other roads are normal. So, and then if you can see in the next picture, look at that traffic, eh? Like really, that's, no. They're very good with their traffic system. And 70% of the traffic control system that's in China, take vision. Huh. Good to know, eh? Yeah, it works there. It won't work with the high S taxis here, but anyway. All right. So thank you very much for joining. I'm going to stop the recording and then we'll do the Q&A after that. So um, tomorrow we have our uh, product introduction. Um, I'm not sure the module. Uh, and then also I have one of my colleagues that's going to do that. Uh, module for me. I won't be here. So um, I've got a trip to go and do. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So anyway, see you guys then next week. All right. Thank you.